On this 70 series machine, we have the command center. We will be re reviewing its functionality today. The first page, button all the way to the left, is going to be your harvest main page. Selecting it second, you will be able to adjust what you see on that home page. Selecting the second button for your customize, we will be able to see our field average and our header width. When we select that same button twice, we will be able to see our totals, gallons per acre, gallons per hour, acres, feet, and average moisture. We also have the option to zero out those values as needed. Page three of four allows us to see our field totals and our farm field and crop type. If you are running a GS2 or GS3 display at the corner post, that data will be seen there. If you select that button once more, we can also see more detailed versions of that crop total. Selecting the third button over, we'll be able to see our machine settings, be able to select and choose our crop type. Selecting that button once more, we will see our crop type, seed size, and farm and field. Selecting that button again, three of four, will allow us to see the header that we are connected to, our minimum reel speed, header width, width change when selecting a manual control, and record stop height. 4-4 will then bring us to our moisture alarm. From here, you can change your sample rate. We can select our moisture alarm on or off and select the parameters of our moisture alarm and input a moisture correction or fixed moisture. Moisture correction will be applied when actively taking moisture throughout the machine's harvest season. Utilizing a fixed moisture will be selected if an issue has arose with the harvesting system or moisture system and to decrease downtime you will select a fixed moisture and input the average moisture from elevator samples. At the very bottom we can also select yield units and change them as needed. Getting into calibrations we'll see our active alarms which are none and here finally our calibrations tab. From here we can select calibrations as we need. We're going to go into yield. From our yield calibration there are two styles. We can do a single point or a multi-point. Multi-point calibrations are more beneficial when inconsistent crop flow is expected. Single point calibrations can be done when crop flow is expected to be uniform across the field to be harvested. We have our calibration factor. From here, we're going to scroll down to our scale weights. Once the calibration is done, your harvested weight will be applied and you will input the scaled weight from the elevator. You will hit next and continue the calibration. For now, we are going to go back, select page three of four. From here we have diagnostic readings that allow you to visually see different readings throughout the machine as you are running. We will go back, hit our book and rent one more, special tests. You can manually throughout the season ensure that systems are operating correctly through the display. That summarizes the command center in a 70 series machine.